So here we go guys, the Pine phone just arrived like 30 minutes ago and I wanted to unbox it with you guys directly. I just opened the DHL box and let's do the unboxing together. So let's look at the box first. We have here on the front Pine 64 Manjaro. On the side here we have again Pine phone Community Edition. This is the cheaper version with the Manjaro logo as well. And on the bottom here we have some specifications about the band. And, and also the battery, I see here it has a 2800 milliamp battery. And on this side we have the content of the box, we have the user manual, we have the quick start guide, phone and USB-C power cable and the USB-C dock with an asterisk, which I think is not there because this is the community edition, it's not the ultimate edition. And then we have here on the top the Manjaro logo and that's it. So let's go ahead and open up the box. And we find here some paperwork. So let's have a look here. We have introduction to Manjaro and getting started. I'm not gonna look at this right now. And we have here some warranty papers, seems to be, and some instructions about the phone, I think. There you go. I'm not gonna look at this right now either. So I'm gonna put on the side. And here we have our phone. So guys, this is the Pine phone. Let's open it up. And let's put it on the side for now. I can see here we have the USB-C to USB-A cable, which was on the front of the box. And I need to rip this off here in order to open it. There you go. It's a red one, USB-C to USB-A, perfect. As I thought, the dock is not here because this is not the ultimate edition, that's fine. So let's open up our phone here. And I think I can manage to slide it from here, there you go. And here we go, guys. This is the Pine phone. So let me remove here the paper. Actually, this is a screen protector, but I don't want to have it anyway. No, actually, that's just the protection for the screen. There is still a screen protector on here. I can see it on the bottom, but I will remove this later. Anyway, we can see we have a fairly familiar design here with a notch on the front. Actually, I'll go ahead and remove this. I really don't like screen protectors. There you go. So we have the notch actually here, but now without the screen protector, it looks like a normal notch in a sense that there is a border on the top and on the bottom. Behind we have the Manjero logo. Enjoy the simplicity with what I presume is the speaker and the camera. This is polycarbonate. I can feel it immediately in the hands. And we have here our volume buttons and the power buttons as well. And nothing on this side. And we have here on the bottom also the USB-C port. So I would say let's put the box aside here for a second and let's start this bad boy up. And it won't charge, it's probably empty, so I'll have to charge the battery here for a second. I'll be back with you guys in a second when I have a little bit of battery. So here we go guys, I attach now the phone to the power cable so that I have a little bit of battery. So you can see we are presented now with a lock screen and we need to swipe to unlock. Now it asks for a code, so don't get scared here, it's nothing wrong. Uh, the code for opening up the setup is 123456. You can open it up also on the website that I will leave in the video description below. So let's go ahead and do that. 123456 and unlock. And here we have our setup. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to select here English and tap on next. And this is for the keyboard layout. Well, this time I'm gonna leave the US keyboard because it's a phone, it's easier, and then I'm gonna tap next. Location services and automatic problem reporting, I will leave this as it is. And start using Manjaro Arm. So let's go. And there you go, this is the home screen of Manjaro. So let's see what we can do here. Let's swipe down one time. This is the home screen, basically. So what we have here is basically nothing. It's just a wallpaper. We can tap here and we have our applications already installed. So let's see what we have. We have the phone, we have Firefox, messaging app, contacts. Let's go to the settings. And you can see here we have the typical Manjaro settings. So let's go to the about section and see about the phone. There you go. So we have Manjaro ARM. Memory is two gigabytes. Graphics unknown. Disk capacity unknown. Manjaro ARM 64 bit GNOME 3381. This is the latest version and it's using Wayland as a windowing system. Let's tap here to software updates. 
though I'm sure I have nothing because I'm not connected to the internet yet actually. So let me go back here to settings and here you can see the recent applications. So I can actually scroll through them if I want to. I go back to settings and let's scroll up here and let's go to network. So sorry there guys, I had to actually cut the video here and find out what was wrong because I didn't have any Wi-Fi and the battery wasn't charging and since this is my first Pine phone, I didn't know that you have to open the back and remove the tape that is there. I'm going to show you that in a second. But now that I did that and I put it up again the phone, I have my Wi-Fi options here and everything else. So let me connect to Wi-Fi here so that we can check also for updates and I'm going to select here my network and enter my password, I'm gonna cut this out. And now it's connecting and there we go, we are now connected to the internet. So let's go back actually and go to about. And I wanna check again for updates. So I'm gonna scroll down here, software updates. Let me try to reload this. Now it's reloading correctly. Let me close this window. So it's gonna take a moment here to check for updates. Let's see if there is something new. Okay, it's still checking for updates, so I'll come back here a little later. It's taking maybe a little while. Let's have a look here at our apps. So we have here our phone. Right now, of course, there is nothing in here. We have here our messaging system. Right now it's also empty, of course, but we can start a new chat by tapping on the plus here. Right now there is nothing because I have no card inside, so I cannot actually send any message. We have Firefox, the contacts, and I can also connect to my online accounts here. I have also already Telegram installed, which is great. And I have also my terminal. Oh, let's have a look at the terminal. This must be, must be interesting. There you go, Manjaro, a Manjaro arm. So we can perform here also our upgrades or checking for packages as we do on the computer, which is really nice. So let me go back here again to the menu. And let's have a look here. We have also the document viewer. We have podcasts. The software center, this is uh, for sure PAMAC, which is actually the one that I was using here. And we can explore the software here. It's taking a moment here to download the new packages, so I'm not gonna bother him that much right now. This is just really just a first look. And let's have a look here. We have again, nothing new actually. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna of course test this out for a while and see you know what happens and see what I can do with it. And I will tell you then how it reacts and how it's performing but so far seems to be quite interesting we have also the possibility here to choose the backgrounds let's see we have only one available for now but we can add more of course and what else in the settings we have regions we have users which is nice we can share this we have also bluetooth which is there we have notifications application privacy and the usual manjaro stuff so this is nice so I'm gonna have a last look here at the software center and see what's new. Right now there is still nothing. It's still looking for updates. That's okay, I'm gonna look to it. I'm gonna come back to it later. Let me actually lock the screen for a sec. Because we have also the lock screen, you can see with notifications, which is a nice touch to have. We can scroll this up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, we can change this after in the settings. And let's turn the phone off for a moment. And let me unplug the cable here for a sec. I want to show you something. Now I have a little bit of battery, which is good. And the thing is, you know, you can actually remove the back. I didn't know this. So we just remove it from this corner. As you can see here, we have the battery. We have the chipsets here where you can see this SD card and the SIM card slot and the Wi-Fi and the RAM. So I had a little tape here that I had to pull out and then the Wi-Fi and the battery started to work correctly. So that's the unboxing for the PinePhone, guys. Uh, I'm gonna test this out, of course, in the coming weeks and months, and then sometimes in the future, I'm gonna give you a full review of it. Anyway, that's it for the unboxing. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care.